That's exactly right. It's a bottle of flumazenil on the table. Yes. On the table. Right? Yes. You didn't testify to that yesterday. Did you know that yesterday? I testified that I originally saw it on the floor. And then what did you do with it? At the time, we were trying to get photos of the propofol bottle on the floor. So we moved the table. I picked up the flumazenil and put it on the table prior to it being photographed. Yesterday, you didn't testify that there was a flumazenil bottle on the table. Today, you are. Yesterday, right? I was asked if the flumazenil bottle, where I found it, and I found it on the floor. And you moved it. And I moved it. The syringe, you testified. People's 117. You had testified you found that on the table. I did find that on the table. But this syringe has your fingerprint on it. Yes, it right? does. Right? Your thumbprint. Right? I don't know if it's thumb or finger. I don't so know which finger it is. On the floor, Miss Fleek, did you move this to the table? I did not move that. Do you, you don't consider any of that a mistake? Is that what you testify? Testimony? A mistake? Is? No. Yeah. Okay. I do believe that I should have photographed the flumazenil on the floor before I put it onto the table. Yes, in hindsight, I would have done that. Why don't you take a look at your investigative summary, narrative? Okay. Second. Certainly. Let me show you People's 115. This is a picture on the side of the bed, right? Yes. In your investigator's narrative, you relate that you saw, I believe you've already testified, a broken syringe on the floor? Yes, I testified that I described that incorrectly. Actually, you've revised that at the preliminary hearing, didn't you? Objection, argumentative, misstates the testimony. Sustain. At the preliminary hearing, you said it was not broken, but that a needle was on the floor that might attach to the syringe on the table. Isn't that what you said? I don't know specifically what was said in the prelim, but... I described I should have described it as two separate pieces, not a broken syringe. You recall saying in the preliminary hearing page line, please. Eight twenty five. Yes, there was a syringe on the table as well and a needle on the ground on the left side of the bed. Is that something you said? Yes. Question, when you say syringe, what are you referring to? Answer, the plunger and the top part of the syringe in plastic. That's page uh, 825. So there was a syringe, this is page 827. And, and start question and answer. Yeah, question. So there was a syringe on the nightstand without a needle attached. Correct. Mm -hmm. Question. Then there was a needle on the floor. And you said, right. Yes. And that was at the preliminary hearing. Under oath. Okay. You were under oath, right? Yes. Okay. Um, 
And today, your testimony is it was a catheter, not a needle, right? Well, an IV catheter contains a needle portion. You want me to go for, further up with your testimony? Do you remember the conversation you had with Mr. Walgren about <coughs> maybe the needle was attached to the syringe? Do you remember that conversation at preliminary hearing? No. I don't remember it specifically. Will it help you to see your testimony? Yes. <laughs> Can I approach? Yes. Showing the witness what pages and what lines, please. Question. Third uh, line down. I'm sorry. Say that again. Eight twenty-eight. Third line down. Question. So no, 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 no. I think you should show the witness. This question. Read this answer. And I'll ask you. Okay. So it is just a. No, no. Uh, any of the uh, most recent uh, readings are stricken. Disregard them. I think Mr. Chernoff just wants you to see if looking at what is on there helps you refresh your memory. Then we can go to the next step. Okay. So read it quietly and then see if it, your memory is refreshed. <clears throat> okay. okay. Do you remember the conversation? About the syringe, about the needle. Yes. Where you said maybe it was, maybe it had been attached earlier, right? Objection. The state's testimony was just read. Sustained. Mr. Walgren asked you, do you have an independent knowledge that those went together? Answer, no. Question, Mr. Walgren, so it is just a separate syringe. There was a syringe and a needle on the floor that may have been together at one point. It may not have been. Answer, right. Remember that conversation? Yes. All right. Today, you would agree that there's no way those two could be together. Isn't that your testimony? Yes. Because this, I'm going to mark defense next, Judge. He is in Papa. <sighs> he is in Papa. Because this wasn't a needle at all, it was a catheter, right? Yes, that's what I found out later. You found out how? Um, I believe it was in a meeting looking at evidence with Mr. Walgren and Dr. Rogers. Okay. Let me show you. I'm going to mark this as defense. Q? Q. Quebec. Thank you. Uh, let me show you Defense Exhibit Q, which is a photo of the side of the bed. You recall in your investigator narrative that you said that you saw some latex gloves on the, on the floor next to the bed. I don't specifically. Yes. Is that in the narrative? Well, you can tell me. Is that what you said? I'd have to read through the narrative. I don't have it memorized. Well, it's in front of you. It's only two pages. You want to take a look? Can I have a page reference? I'll tell you what. I'll make it easy. Last sentence of your scene description. An ambu bag and latex gloves. Yeah, Council have a page reference. She has a whole notebook of materials in front of her. Thanks. Page, uh, page uh, stamp 233. Just a moment so that the witness can retrieve her materials. Is, is your, are your materials bait stamped? No. You want to pay? The, uh, let me just bring her a copy of it. You, uh, you testified earlier you had the investigator's narrative in front of you. Do you? Yes, I do. Are you looking at it as we speak? Yes, I am. Do you see that it has three pages? Yes. I'm going to direct you to the second page where it says scene description. Yes. And you see at the last line of the scene description? Yes. Would you like to read that? An ambu bag and latex gloves lay on the floor next to the bed. Can you show us in defense queue? Can I have the lights, please? Where the latex gloves were lying? Not in this photo. <coughs> well, what photo? Do you have a photo of the latex gloves? 
I'd have to look at the other scene photos. Well, you, you, you can't remember from your memory? There were some gloves, I believe, closer to the urine bottle. Um, the chairs on the floor. I don't know if they're in a specific picture or which picture they're in. You, uh, I'm, from my memory, I know there were some gloves on the floor. Let me see. We talked about you taking notes, right? In this yes. testimony. We talked right. about how you destroy your notes because you put it all in, written down in the forms, in the reports, right? Correct. Because that's complete enough, right? And yes. That's what you said? Yes. And now you're saying you don't remember where the gloves were. No, I'm saying they were closer to the urine bottle chair on this side of the bed, not in this photograph. You're sure about that? Yes. As sure about that as you are about the propofol bottle in the IV bag? Yes, I am. Got it. Let's zoom in here. Do you see what's on the chair there? I Are those gloves? I can't see exactly. defense you as in United? Well, I think we've skipped uh, over some of the alphabet. I don't, Aren't we up to R? Unless I sing it, I can't do it. R is in Romeo. All right, got it. The phonetic alphabet. <laughs> okay. R. Um, let me show you defense R. Let me go back so you can see the whole thing. What does that look like to you in the chair? Gloves. Did you reflect that in your investigator narrative? No. Did you reflect that in any of your notes? I don't believe so. You apparently thought it was important enough to note that you saw latex gloves, right? E yes. Okay. Do you consider that a mistake? No. No. All right. Go back to. Yeah, let me have your iPad. Where is it? I want to go back to this propofol uh, bottle and this IV bag. All right. I ask you to. You said that you have, haven't been following this trial very much, is that right? Well, I haven't watched it every day, correct. You, um, you would agree with me looking at this cut IV bag, this is what this is, the cut IV bag you found? Mm -hmm. you can see there are yes. yes. Yeah. You can see there are droplets of water that are formed here on this IV bag? Yes. Clear water. I don't know if it's water. Well, it's a sailing bag. It could be sailing, right? Correct. But it's clear. Yes. And let's go over here. You agree with me there's no milky fluid in this IV bag? From this photo, no. Is there another photo out there that would show milky fluid in the IV bag? I don't think so. Me neither. So let me ask you this. Was this tested by the coroner? Yes, it was. Beyond her, her expertise, there will be a toxicologist testifying. I didn't ask what the results were. I, I understand. Asked. In your personal knowledge, was this tested by the coroner's office in, in, in your presence? Not in my presence. I believe it was. Could I have the lights, please? I want to spend a little bit of time with Ms. Fleet going over 